Welcome to another incredible video from your Kansas City Chiefs, dear fan. Now is the moment I ask you to show your support. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. The Kansas City Chiefs backfield lost a contributor from the previous season, even with Clyde Edwards Hilaire returning for another year. Jarek McKinnon remains a free agent, though there's no indication he will return in 2024 to 25. Kansas City hosted free agent J.K. Dobbins for a visit earlier this offseason, but the former Baltimore Ravens standout left town without a contract. Could this change soon? One source believes so. Injuries, man, began Kenyon. The worst. J.K. Dobbins had a strong debut in 2020, rushing for 805 yards at 6.0 per carry and scoring nine touchdowns. He looked poised to be a regular contributor for the Baltimore Ravens in the coming years. Instead, two significant knee injuries and an Achilles tendon rupture have limited him to nine games over the past three seasons. That injury history is a concern for sure. Dobbins is only 25 and showed promise when healthy in 2020 and 2022. It's too early for everyone to write off a runner of his caliber, especially a playoff-slash-Super Bowl contender who can afford the associated risk. Dobbins probably won't command a multi-year offer, but he could put himself back in that scenario with a healthy and productive 2024. The last time Dobbins was healthy, he reminded everyone why he's respected across the league. In just eight games during the 2022-23 regular season, he amassed 520 rushing yards, averaging 5.7 yards per attempt. As a rookie, he averaged just over six yards per touch and had nine multifunctional touchdowns. In just 24 career regular season games, the former second-rounder has built a strong reputation. Certainly, Kenyon's $2 million price tag is far from high risk. But the mere idea of Dobbins and Edwards Hilaire together has led many, including my colleague at Arrowhead Report, Joshua Briscoe, to assess if squeezing the juice is worth it. In this writer's opinion, though, the Chiefs were playing with fire in the backfield. The upside of a healthy Dobbins with parts seemingly equal dream and reality, complementing the rest of the room, is immense. If the projected contract were close to his true market value, Kansas City should be willing to roll the dice. Now leave your comment below as it's important for my work. Don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. Welcome. There is another incredible video from the Kansas City Chiefs. Dear fan, at this moment, show all your support, like the video, subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any news. The future of the Kansas City Chiefs in Kansas City faces uncertainty after a sales tax extension for the Arrowhead Stadium renovation was not approved earlier this month, sparking discussions about the possibility of the team leaving the city. This led to some situations, such as with Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson, who took advantage of Kansas City's situation, trying to use it to gain political advantage by extending an invitation to the Chiefs. However, Kansas City Mayor Quinton Lucas was quick to respond to these advances, stating that the Chiefs are firmly rooted in Kansas City and rejecting any speculation about their departure. The future of the Kansas City Chiefs in Kansas City faces uncertainty after a sales tax extension for the Arrowhead Stadium renovation was not approved earlier this month, sparking discussions about the possibility of the team leaving the city. This led to some situations, such as with Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson, who took advantage of Kansas City's situation, trying to use it to gain political advantage by extending an invitation to the Chiefs. However, Kansas City Mayor Quinton Lucas was quick to respond to these advances, stating that the Chiefs are firmly rooted in Kansas City and rejecting any speculation about their departure. It is also worth remembering that the city of Kansas City is divided between two states, Missouri and Kansas. One of the possibilities is that the Chiefs just change states, playing in the Kansas City metropolitan region, this time in the state of Kansas. Now I want to know your opinion about today's video. Dear fan, so at this point, show your support and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any news.